All right, let's talk about consolidating MIDI within Pro Tools. All right, this one's going to be a shorty today because it doesn't take a ton of time to explain. But basically, the idea is a lot of times when we're working with MIDI in Pro Tools, if we import something, so you know whether that's from another session or from elsewhere, it'll uh, split the MIDI into a whole bunch of different tracks. And you know, if we only want to put one type of instrument on that uh, collection of MIDI notes, then basically it's it's pretty annoying because we would rather just have it all on one track. We can just put one instrument iteration on that one track and uh, call it a day, right? So, so you know, especially if you're someone who's importing MIDI files a lot, you might find yourself in this situation pretty often where you have a whole bunch of tracks and you want to consolidate the notes from those different tracks into one MIDI track. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that today. So first, I'm going to work with this one. I'm going to actually just simplify this session so it's a little easier to see. I started doing this more with my students, and I don't know, it seems to help. Um, I'm going to do Command-Shift-N to create a new track. I'm going to do a stereo uh, instrument track. And I'll stretch this out, and I'm just going to put some notes on this one that will then want to merge with this one. So uh, let me just write some notes here. So let's say these are our notes. So here's our MIDI notes. I just picked random notes. Please don't come at me for it. <laughs> I just picked random notes to show the concept. But um, let's see. We're in the same range here. So that's fourth. Uh, C, that's third, and that's third and fourth. So we're in the same range here. So basically what we're gonna do, I'm gonna move this into the clips view because a lot of times that seems to be how things import when you import MIDI and um, I wanna reflect that actual situation. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this instrument here too because it's bothering me that this looks deactivated. Um, so here are my pretty MIDI files. Let's say I just imported them and they're, they should be on one track, but they're on two tracks for some reason. And I just moved this last note and I'm just gonna trim this down so they look like they're kind of the same length here. Um, Cause a lot of times that's what happens when we're importing stuff that should be on the same track, right? So basically what we're gonna do to fix this problem is we're gonna do a special kind of copy paste. So I'm gonna click on this clip. So I wanna copy this clip onto this clip and combine those MIDI notes. So I'm just gonna do Command C to copy. You can also right click and uh, select copy here. Um, it's kind of up to you. I like to do the keyboard shortcuts because it's a lot faster. Um, but then what you're going to do is you're just going to click on the clip to which you want to copy to. And then you can either do uh, Alt and then M. And that'll do your uh, paste special onto there. So you'll see how now these notes are being displayed on here as well as the previous notes that were there. Uh, I believe you can also go to the edit menu and then paste special and then merge and that'll do it as well. Um, so you can see here, that's the same shortcut, right? Alt M. So yeah, that's basically how it works. You either go to the edit menu or you do Alt M to do that special paste that merges those MIDI notes. And one thing you wanna keep in mind is like, if I highlight this chunk of notes here and I do Command C, and then I don't preserve my highlight by either, like a lot of times I'll preserve my highlight do, by doing the P and the semicolon to move up and down within a session. So P is up, semicolons down. But if you don't retain the starting location for where you're pasting to, like if I just click here and then I do Alt M to paste, you'll notice that it adds the note here. So now the timing of my note is different. So it was over here that it started and now it's starting at the beginning of my session. So you do wanna make sure that wherever you're pasting to, if you wanna preserve the timing of those notes, you wanna make sure that it's the same start location for your paste. I think that's it though. So I hope someone found this helpful. I hope someone out there found this useful. So, you know, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I would appreciate all that stuff. And I do have that Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And we have early release videos on there. We have a Discord server that we're all hanging out on. Um, we have a book club that we started on the Discord server. That's been a ton of fun. We're picking a new book right now. So it might be a great time to join in if you're interested in that. Uh, we have additional content. I don't know if I said that already. Anyway, it's patreon.com slash Noise. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. I got to go play with electronics because I'm trying to keep up with that stuff since I haven't been working in the repair shop. Um, that's all new to me. So it's interesting and new and I don't fully understand it as well. So... Um, I'm working on it though. I think I'll understand it more completely eventually, hopefully. Um, 
I want to be able to like mod microphones and build my own gear and stuff. And so far, you know, I've, I've built some kit stuff, um, but I haven't done a ton with it. I've just been kind of trying to maintain through quarantine because I'm somehow, I've somehow stayed busy, which is, I guess, a good problem to have. Um, so I'm going to go play with electronics and have dinner. And I hope you guys have a good evening and talk soon. Okay, bye.